Salam alaikum everyone and welcome to uh, one of the very important and interesting lessons always about English pronunciation. Today we're going to tackle the topic of American English versus British English. American or British or American and British. We'll answer the question in this lecture, inshallah. Right. Now, in fact, there are many varieties of English language. Uh, which are wide used in the world. We have American English, British English, Australian English, uh, Canadian English, English of New Zealand, right, and many other also Englishes which are used worldwide. Clear? And these varieties also of English, they include many, many, many number, okay, or numbers of countless accents. Clear? Countless number of accents. British contains many uh, other accents of the south, of the north, America also, of the south, of the north, and so on. Uh, the same thing for the other varieties of English. Right, good. But the commonest two varieties of English, as you know, are American English and British English. British English. Now, which one is correct? Which one is wrong? This question is totally right, forbidden, and wrong. It means we can say this one is correct, and the other is wrong. All of them are correct, all of them are Englishes, and all of them are used right in the world with total right acceptance and admission uh, in all fields. Right. Good. Now, uh, when it comes to acquisition English language, all right, some students may wonder, what should I choose? English, or British English, or American English? This is a very uh, frequent question which comes to the minds of many, many learners when they start learning English. In fact, this question also is also wrong. It means what? It means whether it is American English or British English. When we are in the phase of acquisition, we must benefit, clear, from all these varieties. Right, it means I learn English from the Americans and also from the, the British. Right, because both of them are English, both of them are correct. Right, now, when it comes to production, when I want to speak my English or write my English, of course, there are some differences between two varieties. Here, I must be consistent and I should stick to one of the varieties. I mustn't confuse, for example, sometimes I use some British words and other times I use some uh, other uh, American ones. Now, be consistent. Stick to one variety when you speak. Right. When you speak or write. Clear. No shifts. You have to produce uh, your English uh, following one of these two varieties. But when you learn, when you read, don't say this British won't read, this American I will read, or the opposite. No, it's wrong. Try to uh, benefit from all what is available right for you as an authentic English material, whether it is from the Americans or from the British. Right. Go. Now, if you compare between the two varieties, the American English and the British English, we find that British English, which is also called the RP, Received Pronunciation, it represents what? It represents here the standard English, the straight English, clear, the formal English. What is the American one? It's a bit flexible, a bit loose, a bit informal. Clear, because the British respect always the uh, original rules of, of the language, right, and they follow it. Huh? Or the Americans have their own rules which they devised, okay, by themselves, and these rules are not always compatible with them. That's uh, RP of the British, but both of them are correct. Clear, good. So, all in all, sometimes we say, in reception, we receive English from both American, British, 
and so on. But in production, we use only one. Clear? Go. Now, let's shed some light on the main difference between American English and British English. Right. In fact, the differences are not, are not too many, are only a few differences. Clear? The learner should now to be able first to distinguish between them when he produces. Clear? And also to know that, alright, this American and this British. Right. Go. Now, there are differences at the level of transcription and spelling. Huh? Uh, and uh, pronunciation, sorry. Number one. Transcription and pronunciation. Also, there are differences at the level of spelling. How we write some words. Clear. Also, in grammar, we have also a few and two, all right, uh, small differences. And at the same time, also, in vocabulary, we can distinguish between, between all right, here, a disparity between the two versions when it comes to only uh, a few words, some words, not all words. Right. Let's start with the first difference, uh, which concerns uh, transcription and uh, pronunciation. Now, in fact, number one here, we can list uh, the diphthong O. Oh. Uh -huh. For example, the British, they say go, go, L, oh. but the American, they use uh, O and O. Right, not Shiba and O with British. They say go. Uh -huh. British, go, the American, go. Right, go, go. Also, uh, we have the difference also with concerns uh, how to pronounce the uh, semi vowel R or R. Clear? Because the British don't usually pronounce the, uh, the sound R clear or R, R uh, except when it is uh, followed by a vowel. Clear? When it is put between two vowels usually, or followed by, by a vowel. Right. Otherwise, the R is not pronounced in British English at all. But for the Americans, they always pronounce the R. Clear? For example, uh, when I say, uh, I don't know, uh, doctor, doctor, it's British. But when I say doctor, doctor, it's American. Clear? Right. When I say, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, door, door, here it is British. But when I say door, door, here it is American. Clear? American. But if I say door of, I pronounce the R here, door of, door of. Clear? If I say doctor of, I say doctor of. Clear. So the R is not pronounced in British English unless it's followed by a vowel, usually. Huh? But for Americans, they always pronounce it in all situations. Right. Good. Example, I say uh, hard. It's very hard. Huh? This is British. But the Americans say hard. It's hard. 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 Clear. Also, we have another difference that concerns the uh, sound uh, O. Okay, the uh, vowel O. So, the Americans pronounce it approximately like A. Uh, say, he was short. Clear. Short. The British say shot with O. Now, from also, the British pronounce it from with O, the Americans it is from, from with long A. So the Americans open their mouths larger when pronouncing this vowel in these words. The same also for lot, not, dog, and so on. Also, I have the, uh, uh, the, the, the long vowel, right? Ah, the British, they keep it ah, huh? in words like uh, half, uh, I don't know, 
uh, fast, uh, laugh, right? Whereas the Americans, they pronounce it as a flower and they say half, fast, and laugh. Clear? Laugh. Right. So, always you see, British tend always to open their mouths larger and wider when it comes to pronouncing some, all right, some vowels. Clear? Also, for the uh, voiceless uh, uh, plosive ta, ta, it becomes what? It becomes voiced in American British. They keep it as it is, all right, uh, voiceless plosive ta, ta, all right, but the Americans, they turn it into a uh, little like a vowel. Uh, uh, sorry, like, uh, like sound d in intervocalic position. I mean between two vowels. For example, uh, I say, British say city, British city, Americans say city, city. Little, all right. British, Americans say little, little, clear. Beautiful, British. Americans say beautiful, beautiful. Pretty, British. Americans say very, very. Clear. Good. Also, the seventh difference concerns how to pronounce the long vowel. All uh, right, uh, with consonants. Yeah, u with yeah, you. While the British keep it as it is, you. Like in new student Tuesday, the Americans pronounce it only O. They remove uh, yeah and they uh, leave the long vowel O, and they say no, not new. They don't say student. They say student. Right. British say uh, Tuesday. The Americans say Tuesday. Right. And British say New York, New York, Americans say New York. Tune British, tune American. Right. Now, uh, for spelling differences, number one we have, uh, as you know, the common words which end uh, adjectives with usually words with L, U, R, like color, uh, like honor. The British write them okay with O U R, whereas the Americans they remove U and the right color or honor and or the like with only O U R. Clear. Also, for the words or verbs mainly uh, and adjectives which end in I S, like organize, realize, recognize, and so on, the British use at the end I S, whereas the Americans use I Z. Okay, but both pronounce them similarly. Clear. The difference is only in in spelling. Right. In spelling. So be careful. We find realize with Z, it's American. With S, it is British. Right. Also, in some uh, verbs and words, huh, uh, when we have final L, clear. L, uh, the British double the L. Clear. Example like in control. Uh, travel, he controlled, he traveled, double L at the end, but the Americans use only one L without doubling the L. Clear? Travels and controlled with one L. Right. Also, words ending in uh, T R E, huh? these are British, huh? center, theater, right, huh? meter, but the Americans, they Write them at the end with TR, center, uh, same position, but different spelling and different order of, of uh, letters and sounds. Clear. Uh, theater also and meter, but the Americans write them or spell them with TR instead of TRA. You see, the British is a bit like the French language in spelling. Uh, that's why it is straight, all right, and uh, you can say respectable to the original norms, okay, of uh, our original languages. Also, we have uh, the case of irregular verbs. Uh, for example, we have some regular verbs which have two spellings. For example, we have bird, 
or bird. The British tend to use ta. The Americans they use ed. Right, like dreamt British, dreamed American, spelled British, spelled American, spoiled British, spoiled American. Right, good. Now when it comes to grammar also, we have only a few, very few and slight differences. The Americans? Uh, they use uh, to express uh, ownership only have or has. They say, for example, I have a car. The British use has got or have got. They say I have got a car. Clear. The British say has got or have got. The Americans say has or have. Also, when it's in the past or speaking about past actions, the British usually use the present perfect. But they say I have gone to Paris. But the Americans they use the past simple tense and they say I want to. Paris. Both are correct, but the use of grammar here differs. Clear, differs. Also, for the adverbs, sometimes we have here different in position. Same, for example, uh, the British say he has probably uh, uh, traveled uh, now. So here, as in the common rule, to put okay some of the adverbs between the verb and the main verb. The Americans they put adverb that they are the subject and they write he probably has traveled. Now, clear, only slight ones, right. Also, for the use of some uh, prepositions, the British say at the weekend, at Christmas, the Americans say on the weekend and on Christmas, right. Also, when it comes to some expressions, uh, the British tend to keep the whole, uh, if you can say, standard form of the sentence, and they say, for example, write to me letter. Uh, Send to me this or that. The Americans, no, they drop the to and they say, or they write, write me, send me. Uh, it's a bit more informal than, okay, the British one. Right. Now, finally, we reach final phase of differences or type, which concerns vocabulary. We have here, all right, a list of the different words which are used uh, in two you can say versions, uh, one a British one American, uh, and both they indicate the same meaning, refer to the same uh, uh, meaning or the same uh, issue. For example, I have uh, uh, lift, uh, lift, machine which uh, carries people up and down building. Uh, the Americans call it what? Elevator, elevator, or elevator. Clear. Flat, British, apartment, American. Petrol, British, gas, uh, American, right. A check also here, British, and the check here uh, with CK at the end, American. Rubbish, British, and garbage, American. Motorway, British, highway, American. Autumn, British, and fall, American. Lorry, British, clear, and the track, American. Uh, rubber, British, and the eraser, American. Underground, uh, a train underground, okay, is British and subway American. Garden, British and yard American. Uh, uh, also, the Americans say, uh, so sorry, uh, Brit the British say, uh, uh, doctor, Americans, okay, they use, for example, uh, phys physician, physician, right, mechanic British, uh, uh, and uh, I don't know. Uh, Americans use engineer, right, right, uh, pharmacy, British, drugstore, American, and so on and so forth. You need just to memorize these words, all right, and to stick to the use of one of these two versions when you write and when you speak. You said that you really master the English language, all right, and know how to use one of its varieties properly and correctly. This is the, call, the end of our course. I hope to have benefited and got at least uh, some idea about the two versions, which are both correct and both English and both widely used in the world. All right. As a learner, you are required just to benefit from them both. But when you produce, when you produce, be consistent and use one of them. Huh?
one of them. Uh, of course, uh, regarding all these differences which we have highlighted in this lecture to uh, provide you with more information about uh, the English language. Thank you so much.